Today we're out with one goal in mind. Can you use a jig head minnow without live scope? You all should know what this is. Probably the hottest band in the market, the Crush City Freeloader. We're gonna see, without live scope, if we can catch some fish on this, or if it really is just a live scope bait. First cast out here. Before anyone thinks we're using live scope, this don't even turn on down here. So, that answers that question. You will not see me looking at any graph. There is no graphs on in the boat. Oh, I was out of the water. No wonder that felt weird. Welcome to Shaking Minnows Without Live Scope. Halfway through to be in the cut line. 59 pounds. So pretty much all smallies there? A lot, yeah. Oh yeah. The old jig head minnow. I couldn't believe it for a second without the live scope. absolute giant to start the day. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be a scoreable on a MLF, but we'll take him. He scores in this. Blue! I couldn't step back and all was there and I was going to oh. fall backwards. <laughs> we really need spot lock. That would it be nice. sucks trying to fish offshore no, without a spot to lock. Because how am I supposed to hold the boat into the wind and then cast with it? Yeah. You can't. I'm going to find the angle. I'm going to learn how to do this. For what? Oh, God. I'm going to learn it. Oh. You have a fish? I had one for a second. I was trying to figure out how to run the trolling motor backwards. That gum giant, son. What we got here? That giant. Never mind. I thought it was. Woo! You actually think it was big? Yeah, I did. I did too when I set the. Look at that. That's how you want them to eat it right there. Perfect. In the salad or? In the salad. Oh, yeah. Right in the salad. I get what you're saying now. I'm a little slow these days, I guess. See ya. Switch it up a little bit. Oh! <laughs> it's pissing. Yeah, it. It's pissing. Oh my God. <laughs> there we go. Got number two for me. Switch it up. Throw on the black jig head now. The I don't know what these are called. I got them in an MTB. They're pretty cool. I like them. It's working. We're going to keep throwing these and see what else we can do here.
from the motor up high enough, Larry? Trying I to may. break a cable here. You know, it's, I used to do it all the way up every time, and I've done it at least 20 or 30 times. All right, well, we called it a day there. Original plan was for us to go out, and then after catching a couple, just smack some big ones on like a jig or some other frog, something like that. Now, apparently the minnow is the way to go, because we couldn't catch another fish other than on the minnow. So I think that should answer the question. What do you say? Yeah. It sucked. It did. But we are going to get packed up, head home. So that's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like, subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next video. Whoa! Okay, see, it's way more unstable up front. Yeah. That's all, that's all I want to tell him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and show him. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Was that like just a shot of her nose? <laughs> Pretty much.